Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Today I've got a really unique 3D printed project that I did recently here. And this is not only unique, but it is functional. It's a functional lamp. And this is not a little, uh, small trinket little lamp. This thing is over four feet tall, about four and a half feet tall. So I might have to move the camera angle back as we get this thing assembled. But I've already got some of it pre-assembled, so this will go pretty fast, guys. So stay tuned. Can't wait to show you. All right, guys. Uh, first of all, this is the base unit right here. This base is comprised of two separate halves, a top and a lower half. Also, what I'm going to show you feels kind of heavy right now. I forgot that I have this weight installed. This thing is about five pounds filled with sand, plastic exterior, and this is a weight for like outdoor tents and stuff like that, awnings, and it works perfectly on this 3D printed floor lamp. Keeps it solid and in place, otherwise it's light, and if somebody knocked into it, it would probably slide across the floor. So that was a unique solution that I found. I made a pocket for it in the back. And I've got the cord coming up through the back as well while we're talking about the floor base unit. I'm gonna leave a picture here. This is how I actually set these two halves up to print on my printer bed, on my Delta printers, right here. Okay, we come back here. We look at the back, the lower pocket here. Lower pocket is meant for this weight. That slides right in there. The upper pocket was meant for uh, an L LED power supply for power LED strips. I was gonna make it with a tube coming up and LED strips coming up. Actually, I did, I tried it out. It's not bright enough with individual LEDs on an LED strip, it's not bright enough. So I ended up getting these bulbs, which I'll show you and tell you about later. These are LED multicolor bulbs, but they're a lot brighter they get up to 40 50 watts each so these are the brackets that i 3d printed and they work along with these e12 bulb sockets they just screw right into here the wire comes out the back or top side and these sockets you can get a bag of these for about i think uh they come bag of six for 10 bucks so you're looking at a dollar 67 each for each of these and I use three. So $1.67 times three on that. And then I also have the cord coming out the back bottom and it's got a rocker switch on it so that you're able to turn it on and off automatically with the smart bulb and app or Alexa or physically with the rocker switch. And it comes with a plug with a strip wire end on it so you can splice it to your sockets. Next, I printed these intermediate, uh, I guess sleeves you would call them. These sleeves hold these lens shades together. They fit right together on top and bottom and you stack these up. I got these stacked up three tall with the top uh, print here, shade print. And these shade prints are printed in vase mode. So they use not much PLA filament at all, hardly no material. Matter of fact, all the PLA material I've used here on this lamp probably equals about 25 or $21 worth, about one full roll. But I use part white and part black. If you combine it all, it equaled about one roll. These little bulbs right here, E12 bulbs, multicolored. White is really white and bright, or you got the colors you can switch to. These things run about $12.75 each. I got them in multi-packs. Total of three bulbs for this project is $38.25 for three of those. Runs on the Tuya app. I'll show you that later. But this whole 3D printed floor lamp, over four and a half feet tall, total cost is $66.75. All right, everyone, let's start putting this together. I've already had it together. Just taking it apart to show you guys. It's fairly simple, just the shape of the lampshades and the shape 
same shape on here, which is a little bit larger, uh, this will fit right into it. So there's really no bolting this thing together. The hardest part I can see right now is me going to get the, uh, the sockets and brackets through here because I've already uh, pre-wired them. See that fits right down into that shape there, the same shape. And then what happens, you take one of these on top of each of these shades that you've printed and I've got little uh, dowels right here on the bottom. There's dowels on the top that you have to cut off in the top corners, but to keep the bottom ones because they actually fit inside these four corners of the shade. So these have to go in through here too. And then fit the dowels in the corners. Four corners in. You've got your bracket that's going to fit right down in there in the top of that uh, little sleeve here, the black sleeve, spacer sleeve. But before you move uh, on along, screw in your bulb. One of your bulbs here. And there you go. These little sockets are cool. The E12 size, they're small, easy to work with. They've got a uh, little screw-on attachment to hold uh, the back of the socket and the screw nut goes onto the front of your 3D print. So you just make that 3D printed hole and then put, fit these together. It's cool to have like some smart bulbs incorporated into your prints. Okay, we'll put the next section shade on. And then we need one of our spacers again. Get your corner dowels into the top of the shade. That makes it sturdy on each level. And then go ahead, put the next bulb in first. See guys, I'm getting to the top of my video screen now. This thing's getting tall. This thing's probably about three feet tall now with just the two sections. And you could choose to just make it this high if you like. You could stop it at this height. It's up to you. You could stop it here and you could put the cap on it right here. But just don't put another bracket and socket on there. You could make a top off right here about three feet. But we're going to go one more up. We got our bulb in there. Slide this through here. Screw our bulb in to the top socket. And at this point, you can't see me. You can't see my hands anyway. Let's put our bracket on. And then you can fit your top shade on here, guys. Top shade can fit right on there. Now, it seems a little delicate. You just gotta get everything situated in place. These sockets and stuff. Once you get it right, you'll know it. It'll stand straight and hold itself. And I've got like some dumb, dumb uh, stuff that I got purchased. I might put that in each corner of, of these shades underneath and on top just to add a little bit uh, of sturdiness. Then all you got to do is plug it in. First, I'm going to take you back and take a look at this thing. See it assembled. All right, guys, we're back. Here it is all put together over four and a half feet tall. The masterpiece. The cost of this uh, materials and stuff like that was about $67. Not too bad since my ones that I have in my living room, those uh, floor tower lamps, they cost about uh, about $225 to $250 each. 
So that's a big savings and these almost look just the same. And these can change colors as well. So guys, let's take a closer look what we got here. Nice sturdy base and it's weighted down. You got three different sections of shades. The white shades were printed in vase mode, which makes for quick printing. They got a nice design on the edges. And because of that design and those edges, it helps with this actual full structure to uh, go together real easy. So guys, we're going to try it out. Let's, let's turn it on. Alexa, turn on the floor lamp. Okay. Cool. Look at that guys. Awesome. Awesome floor lamp. Alexa, set floor lamp to 100%. Okay. Very nice. Those get up to, I believe, 40 watts, which is good when it's dark out. You know, we're in a lighted studio office right now, so, but these are pr bright enough. I'll show you afterwards of some, uh, uh, you know, with normal lighting on these lamps. Alexa, set floor lamp to green. Okay. Awesome. Now I'm going to show you the Tuya app that these bulbs operate with right here. And if you uh, hit, I named it floor lamp, press that. And then here's your uh, dimmer right here. And then you can go to color scenes at the top or color. Change the color right here. Just roll this slider around. Change it to blue, roll that around to blue. See guys, roll it back around to green. Now we'll change the scene, go into like multicolors, right? That's a night scene, read scene. It changes like the, uh, the ambience level, the lighting, leisure. Here's a colorful scene, I like this one. It'll just rotate through colors. So the lights are cool too. I would recommend these LED multicolor lights because they're so bright uh, to use in any 3D lamp project. And it's also got a music scene. Uh, now, and then you can play music, but you have to play the music on your phone. I kind of don't like that. I'd like the speaker to be right in the unit there, but it will do music mode. Are you brave enough to attempt this project yourself? It looks like kind of a big, huge project, but piece by piece, you print it out, take your time. If you have two printers, it goes twice as fast, but if not, these actual shades, they go pretty fast. You can have these done within, uh, I don't know, probably six to 10 hours. Uh, they're pretty tall is all, the only thing that keeps them from printing faster than that. They're just one layer actually just gone around and around and around and uh, to make them transparent. And I did it in white. I did try it in the transparent uh, filament as well. I'll show you guys this transparent filament compared to white. And you might like that yourself, but I didn't like seeing the sockets and the bulbs through this. It gives it like a nice kind of high tech look, but you know, if you don't want to see the guts and what's lighting this up, go with the white and then just make it a, a base mode print. So guys, I want to thank you all again for following my channel. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and the no notification button down below. All the materials for this, I'll leave in the description below. And guys, thanks again. I'll see you on the next video.